this. You may have heard that Tony Burke, Australian minister, made good on his promise and banned me from Australia. Well, we're going to talk about that today, and I'm going to give you some more deets. But first, I'd like to brief. The Australian government has denied a visa to what they term as controversial American conservative commentator Candace Owens. We're talking to Candace Owens, the fearless American conservative social commentator, author. You can see her live in Sydney effectively cancelling her planned November speaking tour. When do we invade Australia and free an oppressed people who are suffering under a totalitarian regime? Immigration Minister Tony Burke made the decisive call, stating that Owens has the capacity to incite discord in almost every direction this unprecedented move has sparked intense debate about free speech, border control and national security. The reason that he gave to the public was because I had the capacity to incite discord in almost every direction. The quotation he gave back in November was from downplaying the impact of the Holocaust with comments about Mengele through to claims that Muslims started slavery. Candace Owens has the capacity to incite discord in almost every direction. OK, so, of course, that's just not true. And, and one of the things that's really remarkable is when you see people writing these articles about things that they that I allegedly said, they all keep saying the ADL says she said this. So they're talking about a, a Zionist organization that says that she said this. I guess none of them can fact check that themselves. Uh, they just want to give an excuse to the public that this was somehow done legitimately. And of course, there is not a single, they can't produce, they cannot produce a clip of me talking about Joseph Mengele because it doesn't exist. They, they literally cannot produce a clip of that. The US conservative influencer and podcast host, who has been accused of having advanced conspiracy theories and anti-Semitic rhetoric, including minimizing Nazi medical experiments in concentration camps, will be blocked from coming to Australia after the federal government voiced alarm about her record. From downplaying the impact of the Holocaust with comments about notorious Nazi Dr. Joseph Mengel through to claims that Muslims started slavery, Candace Owens has the capacity to incite discord in almost every direction, Burke said on Sunday. A file-centric religion that believes in demons, it believes in child sacrifice. Is it any wonder Jewish groups want her Australian visit cancelled? For those unfamiliar, Candace Owens is a prominent right-wing media figure known for her role at The Daily Wire and her outspoken views on various social and political issues. She's built a significant following through her commentary on platforms like X, formerly Twitter, and her podcast. Let's break down what happened. Owens was scheduled to conduct a speaking tour across Australia in November. The tour organizers had promoted events in multiple cities, targeting conservative audiences. However, the application process revealed deeper concerns from Australian authorities. Minister Burke's decision wasn't made lightly. The immigration minister emphasized that Australia's immigration laws give the government authority to deny entry to individuals they believe might be disruptive to social cohesion or public order. This isn't the first time Australia has taken such action. The country has previously denied visas to other controversial figures, including British conspiracy theorist David Ake and who they term as far-right provocateur Milo Yiannopoulos. The decision has sparked diverse reactions. Supporters of the ban argue it's necessary to maintain social harmony and prevent the spread of divisive rhetoric. Critics, however, view it as an overreach of government power and a limitation on free speech. It's worth noting that Australia has a history of hosting international speakers across the political spectrum. However, the government maintains strict guidelines about who can enter the country, particularly regarding potential impacts on social cohesion. Under Australian law, the Immigration Minister has significant discretionary power to deny visas if they believe an individual's presence could be detrimental to the community. This includes considering potential impacts on social harmony and public order. Public opinion in Australia appears divided. While some citizens support the government's protective stance, others express concern about the precedent this sets for future international speakers. The immediate impact has been the cancellation of all planned events. Ticket holders will receive refunds, and tour organizers are grappling with the financial implications of the last-minute cancellation. 
Owen's Australian tour had been opposed by some local Jewish groups while the opposition Home Affairs spokesman, James Patterson, called her a dangerous anti-Semite and a conspiracy theorist during a Sky News interview. Burke told nine newspapers in August that he had asked his department for a brief on her visit and consulted the federal anti-Semitism envoy, Gillian Siegel. Nine first reported on Sunday that Owens would not be allowed to enter Australia. Burke's office confirmed her visa had been denied. Guardian Australia contacted Owens' management and the local tour promoters, Roxman, for comment. Neither responded immediately to requests and Owens has not addressed the visa news on her social media accounts. Owens' provocative approach often sparks debate, making the event a must-see for those who enjoy candid conversations about controversial issues, the tour website states. The decision has attracted attention beyond Australia's borders, with international media outlets and political commentators weighing in, in on the implications for global speech and movement rights. Looking ahead, this decision could influence how other countries approach similar situations. It raises important questions about the balance between protecting social harmony and ensuring free expression. The Australian government maintains that this decision aligns with their long-standing immigration policies and their commitment to maintaining social cohesion while protecting free speech within appropriate bounds. As this story continues to develop, it highlights the complex challenges nations face in managing border control, free speech, and social harmony in an increasingly connected world. What do you think about this decision? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more analysis of global political developments. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on similar content.